Hello, everybody. Live, laugh, and love. How's everybody doing today? This is Demelia. And I got something delicious going on for y'all out there today. Okay, so uh, I marinated these two ribeye steaks for about two hours. Okay, so what you got to remember, what we got going on today. We have steak and eggs, ribeye steak and eggs, the eggs are with cheese, and hash browns. Okay? One thing you want to remember, when you do your food, season your pan first. Like, I have all of my delicious vegetables here. That I'm going to put on the side. So you want to take and cook that down some. Halfway. Before you put your steak in. So that your pan could be seasoned. Okay. These steaks are going to be well done. I'm going to scramble with cheese. I have butter in the bottom. And I'm cooking it slow. Okay. Um, we have our uh, marinade. I have these. Uh, I marinated with the steak sauce and Wichita sauce. I put uh, all purpose Chef Carmen seasoning. You can get it at igotyourseasoning.com. And I put black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, minced onion. I'm putting that now. Always put your minced onions on. When you put your steak on, put your minced onion and black pepper. And uh, I'm going to fry the tater tots and put them on, on the plate with the cheese eggs. Okay? That's what we got going on today. So, don't cook it fast. Cook it slow so that seasoning... You see how good and slow that's cooking? So that seasoning can cook in that cook real through. See that? And then after you cook this first, you just keep stirring it. We got mushrooms, yellow onions. I'm sorry, we have mushrooms, yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper, and onions. And the more you keep this in the pan with it, the more seasoning your pan going to be and the better your steak going to taste, okay? Because that's what we got going on today. Ribeye steak. I'm cooking my sugar pie. Some ribeye steaks. And scrambled cheese eggs with some hash brown. So he must, he must have been mighty good. All righty. So, if you marinate your meat one hour, two hours, that's good enough. Or you can marinate it 24 hours. But you got to remember, it's not the marinade, which that does help. It's how you cook it. You see how that seasoning from that steak sauce is in there with that butter? And that's the purpose of cooking it slow. I put it out on uh, seven, and now it's on five. Do not cook your meat fast because you're not allowing it a chance to cook with all your flavors, okay? And this is the good stuff that's going to be on the side that's going to make it delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. I haven't even turned the steaks over yet and they're looking good. And you see how all of your blood coming up? It's cooking slow. And easy. Okay. And this is what we got going on here today. Ribeye steak and eggs. Scrambled cheese eggs. And hash browns. Okay. And always, if um, if you don't eat steak sauce, that's fine. 
Just make sure you put it on there before. And you can also put steak sauce on there after too. For the taste. And the flavoring. Hope everybody having a blessed day. I'm having a great day. Thank you Jesus for that. I love everybody. Thank y'all for all the love, the likes, and the shares. And the followers. Thank y'all so much. I got some great things coming up the, le the next couple of months soon. Great food and delicious food. I'm going to start shipping food overnight, freeze it, and ship it. I'm also getting into uh, doing healthy meals and delivering them. So I got a lot of things coming up. So stay tuned. Continue to be blessed. And thank y'all so much for the love and everything. And don't forget, God love you, and so do I. Bye-bye. Yummy, yummy.